Hello and welcome back to Shadow of Mordor. Now, I think these are the last couple of missions we have here. Uh, there's not too many left. I think we just have to do the Dwarven missions and then we'll be fighting against, I think, the Tower is the next guy. So let's get on to the big game. The Dwarf claims to know the location of more artifacts for Celebrimbor's past. This is interesting. I actually like learning about Celebrimbor and his history and lore. Really interesting with all the the rings and such. Shouldn't see me. Shouldn't hear me. It's a clean kill. And none of it is going to go to waste. What's your name, Ranger? Italian. What were you? A lieutenant? No, actually, uh, I was a captain. Oh, my mistake! We have a captain in our midst! Well, better look sharp, eh? Captain's coming! Better sharpen the swords, eh? And make sure our boots are nice and shiny! <laughs> oh, so tell me, Captain, have you ever hunted a Graug? A Graug has what you promised me. Aye. Not just any growl. The largest one I ever came across. We must prepare. I should do just fine. I've been trained very well. My dog, Silver, was trained very well. That was before she got eaten by a warg. Hunt! It's not about rules, my captain. We're not going to line up and have someone play with our lives. It's about instinct. And it's about guts. Which, as you can see, I know a thing or two about. <laughs> you want basics on the hunt. Follow me. is its own beast, one you must learn to tame. First lesson of Karagor hunting, do not die. What do we need them for? Oh, I'm just going to take off that marker. Oh, never mind. <laughs> a worthy mount for a dangerous hunt. Now, these beasts will not be impressed by your rank. All flesh tastes the same to them. Once you go on the hunt, Captain, you'll come out a changed man. Hopefully for the better, but you never know. <laughs> when I was hunting wargs, I picked up their ways quickly. But Cargors, well, those bastards are a tougher breed. Took me nearly a year to figure them out. I know how to Cargors. dominate them already. Buggers hate water. I once <laughs> tried to ride one through a river, and she hightailed it up a cliffside with me on its back. Amazing what they'll do to avoid a good cleaning, eh? The hunt is my mistress. Beautiful, thrilling, infectious. And she doesn't nag like my wife. You have a wife? <laughs> what Ooh, the hell are you doing over here? Until you've been on the hunt, Captain. The very air smells different. Ranger, over here! I know where you're going. Look, it's obvious you're trying to come up here. Maybe not. That one over there looks quite aggressive. Don't even try creeping up on a Karagor. It'll catch your scent a mile away. What do you propose then? Wouldn't you hop in and introduce yourself? Ask it for a ride. Okay. Oh, okay, we can um, counter Karagors now. Brilliant. When a Karagor charges, you have two options. Knock the hey. Down, oh, crap. <laughs> Jesus, I was phasing through the bugger. Alright, he's gonna charge me now. Hey, bada bada, hey, bada bada. Whoop! What now? Climb on his back! Hold tight! Wow, that was so easy. Yeah. Hey, buddy. I was gonna attack him. I thought you said you couldn't. No. Or 
up to now, Torben. That's about the same time it took me to tame one. You might be a natural, Captain. You didn't fare too bad back there. Where'd you get your training, Captain? I hail from the Black Gate. The Black Gate. Nice place. Sounds depressing. <laughs> well, it, it was. <laughs> Speak no more of it, Torvin. Let's find some Uruks. Now that you tame the beast, let's see if it'll fight for you. <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> yeah. No, you know what? I'm gonna dismount it. I'll be quicker just killing them myself. <laughs> oh, I think we're, we're competing against each other. Oh, okay. There's no way he's gonna win me if I'm on my foot. On my foot. On foot. Ooh, that was disgusting. Half point. Basic lesson of the hunt is tracking. Right now, you're failing at tracking me. Now you see now, Captain. Even the fiercest beast can be used for good. You've been hunting and learning <laughs> for long, Dwarf. For years and years. Land used to be more lush. Now a doom slowly sweeps over it. <laughs> Like much of Mordor. Yes. Sure, you can ride a character, but can you shoot from one? Of course, I can. You take him up high. Leave the ground dogs to me. He's gone. The world was young, the mountains green. Stay at home. Excellent. That was awesome. Come back here, Carrie. Get it, Carrie. That fire better not set my beard to light. Now that's a dragon burst. You got the basics down. Now let's take on a fresh batch. We'll find another camp. Put you to a final test. Fight him however you like. Oh, running short on lessons? Running long on lip? <laughs> You'll need to think on your feet. When we face the Grog, can't always look to me for help. The hunt is about discipline. Training yourself to see the perfect moment, rather than being told it. I once tracked a great eagle back to her nest. I decided to let them be. Even before they toss me to the rocks below. What a time a crowd, then you need at least ten of us. And I'm going to have time for blood! Just as I thought, I knew well it would be going after these guys. Oh crap, I didn't even mean to do that. You know what? Two's better than one. Off with your legs. Let me fight, sir. Thank you. I forgot I actually uh, upgraded my ability so I can actually take a hit or two in battle without losing my combo meter. And then it's just perfect because there's those times where you're just like, oh my god, I could have killed everybody had you not done that. Alright, how many people have I killed? Beautiful. What the hell? His voice just disappeared. And fuck. Torben is too quiet. Something must be wrong. Go to him, Talion. Okay, where is he gone? Perhaps we should track the hunter. You'll make a nice meal, Dwarf! Torvin needs help. 
How did he get knocked off? He's like a freaking tank. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> what does riding Karagors have to do with killing Grogs? All these questions, Captain. Well, you were supposed to follow orders. You are testing my patience, Torvin. Pay attention. Learn to respect the beast. You're gonna need size and strength to fight the mighty Grog. Remember, on the hunt, respect is earned. Well, who knows? Yet will even call you sir. Eh? <laughs> nice one, guys. Alrighty. This dwarf is far from home. Not all those who wander are lost. That's very philosophical. That was so strange. Okay, hunting partner is now available, so I'm gonna right over this way. Knock this one out because it's so close, and we might as well extend the uh, the video times up to 20 minutes, just because you know I feel like it. I feel I feel nice and helpful and friendly. Right, I'm gonna dismount you, Caragor. I'm so sorry, but I think we're gonna face after a Grog now. Yeah, we are. Okay, this hunting partner's Torvan has more to teach you about hunting beasts before you face the great white Grog. Okie dokie. Archchokey. Let's go smoky. <laughs> I'll shut up now. Hope you're not put off by my wee scars. No, oh, not at all. I actually have a few of my own. <laughs> oh, I'll bet. What type of battle scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters! <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Huh. The mighty Grog. You give me these. And he also... took my hunting partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> so, what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? Shooting Crabane to prepare us for the mighty Grog? You want to hunt Grog? Then so you shall. But not just any Grog. This is a rare one. It's territorial. Strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me... We're trespassing. Tell me, Captain, you ever slay a Grog before? Today will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Captain. Well, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. So I assume you have a plan to kill this Grog? I do, Captain. And since you're so good at taking orders, I'll tell you how, step by step. Right. Step one? When he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. But why not his throat? There is one place Graugs aren't covered in spiky scales. They don't call a weakness a Graugs heel for nothing. You want me to sidle up to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes. There it goes. What a fine, fine specimen. And it'll meet a fine end. Alright, so hold R2, sneak up, and press square to bleed it. Ah, oh, great. This isn't the massive one that we're supposed to be fighting, is it? Don't look at me. Okay, he's munching down now. I've got to pierce its ankle if I want to bleed it. There we go! That will be quite a ride. Here. Oh, 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 Jesus. 
I need a category for speed. I know I do. Have to attract one first. Hey! Right up the arse. <laughs> oh wait, I can just jump on one from up here. Um, why didn't I think of that before? <sighs> You're mine now. Don't face through walls, please. <laughs> okay. Sounds easy enough. Oh, got him in the neck. That's not as good. You really do need the speed, don't you? Wow, you're ugly. You can't get me. It's a good thing you can't jump. I've got to lead this grog to Torven. What now? Oh, we have to lead him. Oh, Ugh. what am I doing? Oh my god, no! I'll slay bigger clowns when I was a wee boy and my beard was only three inches long! <laughs> Come on! Closer now! Jump on him! Over here! Look over here! Nothing like your boss for dessert! We're a sweet little morsel! If you can get me in your mouth before I drop you with my hammer! Step three! Shoot it in the head! Mm, don't look at me! So Grog Hunter approaches Stung Grog and press R1 to mount it. Okay. I have an idea. What are you doing? You can't ride a Grog. Oh, very close. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, Italian. Oh shit. Hear me! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hulk smash, huh? Eat one of them. Oh, lovely. Oh! Didn't want to see that. Oh. It doesn't really kill as many people as I'd hoped it would. Eat some more. Yum yum in your tummy. You got this poor one. One more. Ooh, yum yum. Oh, disgusting. Knock him down. Your life ends with the sting of my blade. I'm so sorry, Grab. I say, it's a wee bit unusual to ride a Grab. Nothing like a little improvising, eh? <laughs> All right, Captain. That's it. You showed instinct, gumption, respect. <laughs> Training's over. Got guts? Let's go spill some, eh? The 
The darkness of Mordor doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Pard did not turn the Dwarf Kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to men. They are a stubborn as stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy them. Okay, now that was really interesting. We have now the power to tackle and use Graugs in order for our own advantage. I am now on my last mission with Torvin and that is to tackle the Great White Graug in the next mission. So guys, until then, I will see you next time. Bye for now.